Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Writer's Block Podcast. Your boy Bobby here. Um, So real quick, I'm going to jump right into it this week. I'm going to open up this week's podcast talking about why men need women friends or just women in their lives. (laughs) All right. Um, So I did two shows in Orlando uh, this last weekend. Uh, The first show was at a show called uh, Shit Sandwich. Um... And I don't remember the exact name of it, uh, but yeah, Ross McCoy uh, was the booker of that one. It's a fun show. Uh, and then I went to go to Milk District. Uh, Jake Ricca uh, runs that show at the Barley and Vine. I love that show. It was a lot of fun. It's one of the more fun shows that I've been on Orlando so far, so I'm excited. I love going down there or up there. I don't I don't know. Whatever. I'll figure it out later. Um, but no, so I got the tape back from doing both of those shows, right? And... Uh, I'm looking at the tape, I'm watching myself on stage, and this is at the Milk District show, and I'm realizing, like, the way that I hold the microphone, like, if you look at any of my clips, you know what I mean, like, like, you hold the microphone, you can see everybody's arm, right? This is when I knew I needed women in my life, all right? Before I got on stage, I had saw maybe, like, 20 dudes we all talked chopped it up like other comedians uh, i saw my best friend that morning before i went to orlando you know everyone saw me everyone dabbed me up oh i love you brother good show uh good luck at the show all this good stuff i get to orlando talking to all the comics there uh you know let's have a fun night man i'm nice to bobby i'm nice to meet you uh, i'm bob whatever bobby nice to meet you or whatever so i'm looking at these clips and i realize I am ashy as fuck on my elbows, bro. <laughs> like, I am ashy. I am so ashy on my elbow, And nobody told me. Not one of those dudes around me said, Bobby, look at your elbows, man. You might want to put some lotion on before you go on stage. None of my male friends said that. I was pissed off, man. I deducted, uh, like, a lot of... I, I blocked my best friend on Facebook. Uh, I'm going to block him on Instagram next. Uh, Christian... Should have told me, bro. You were the first person I saw before I even left. Didn't mention nothing about it. Uh, I was so hurt. And I'm embarrassed to post these clips on Instagram now because my elbow looks so goddamn ashy. Uh, If you listen to this podcast, I'm going to put the picture here in the video. Go check out my YouTube. uh, Bobby Brown Jr. Comedy, I think, is my YouTube channel. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Either that or maybe Bobby. But I'm liking using Bobby Brown Jr. a little more these days. You know, got to make that the thing um but yeah so i know all of my women friends would have told me that you know my mom would have said something to me about it before i went on stage my sister would have told me about it before i went on stage vic would have said something to me you know i can go on list that goes on and on you know what so i'm cutting all my male friends off you know my ego was bruised and hurt uh but other than that <clears throat> other than that the shows were amazing i love i love orlando uh the crowds at least the shows that I've been on so far have been a lot of fun, man. Shout out to Jake Ricca uh, for putting me back on Milk District. Um, a lot of funny people I got to work with this time, guys. Uh, uh, Rafael Cruz, I think that's his last name. I, I'm, I would use my phone, but, you know, I'm using running the camera and stuff. But he's one of the guys who I met, man. He was really funny. I love that guy, man. I'm glad that we're friends now. Uh, shout out to him. Uh, I got to work uh, Justin Lawson. He had some really good jokes, man. I was dying. I was dying. Very good dude. After the show, we all went out, grabbed drinks at the bar over there. Pretty ladies were there. That was fun. You know, always a good time. Pretty ladies were around. You know what I mean? Uh, but, yeah, man, I hope to go back. I hope to go back. I'm trying to do Orlando at least once uh, once a month before, uh, you know, I'll reach out and do some other things. So, uh, let me see. That's the Orlando show. 